Hello friends, welcome to I Made Me Think end-to-end -end website testing using Selenium, Cucumber and Java. So we were discussing about a typical general ticket booking website and how to validate what are the important features to be considered. We saw some examples and we saw a couple of end-to-end -end scenarios and now let us do a code walkthrough for feature file layer or the cucumber layer and its step definition. So this is the code for this is the code for this is the cucumber code for the examples what we are discussing is clear trip and red bus these are our examples. So those who are new to cucumber gherkin language I would request you to uh, watch some YouTube videos or Google some tutorial for cucumber and gherkin and get familiar with the concepts and technical details. <coughs> so starting with there are some keywords for cucumber like feature, background, given, when, then, scenario, scenario outline and many more. So background. Let's start with something called feature. So feature is something which tells the user that what is this feature file all about. It will not be executed as it will be ignored by the compiler. Background. So in the context of JUnit and TestNG, we have something called before class, before method or before test suit. So similarly we have something called background here. So background, whatever steps are mentioned with background, those will be executed before any of the scenario or any of the scenario outline in this feature file. Scenario outline. So what is scenario? One scenario is one test case. Scenario outline is a combination of multiple scenarios. So as we discussed earlier, in my design I have considered scenario outline most of the places. So many test cases can be executed in one scenario or one scenario outline. Now what is this at the rate home page or what is this at the rate clear trip? This is called as hook or tag. So consider that in a feature file there are many scenarios, hundreds of scenarios and I want to execute only couple of scenarios. So those can be done like this. We can put a tag on that scenario and when we run this code we can say that in this feature file run scenario which are tagged with this particular tag. So only those scenarios will get executed. So that is a little bit customization we have. Now let's get started with the feature design, the features which I have used. So form page functionality is for the first case what we discussed here, the GUI element validation. The GUI element evaluation look and feel. So what are the elements consisting in, in home page? For example, home page URL, title, logo, home page loading time, important home page element for example link, some button, some labels, some images, drop down. Here also if you see some link button, more more button options, no pop up. If we see the actual website for example home page elements is these top row elements, these links or these uh, short links and this, this, track, this is a text box, this is a drop down. So whenever a user visits this home page, he should feel that it is very simple and it will solve his purpose very quickly. So we can we will discuss about all the scenarios. So the very first scenario is the home page validation. Next is the GUI option validation. So different GUI option, for example, name of the from city to city list, common options for person count onward journey date selector, return journey date selector or date drop down, drop down, multi city option and many more similarly here. So those can be validated can be validated under GUI option validation. Now coming to search scenario combination validation. So now we have this text box. So user can put a wrong or correct entry. So dot those combinations for example valid invalid from city, valid invalid to city, some invalid date or long date where the booking are not yet opened. So those combination we can validate here. Search result information validation. 
so whenever user does some search for example user does some search on this particular date say weekend weekend is will we'll get good traffic so this is the resultant screen it will show some detail for example modify option or from and to day journey places date this return option or actual bus details so this has to be validated in the result information page validation so there are the general options filter by options uh, government bus group options or general info general information seat information so those things are validated in search result information validation search result information some buttons elements general options and many more let us discuss about the end to end validation <coughs> so intent validation type 1 so basically user does some search and then select first search result and say select random seat and then cancel the same or select third search result and select lady seat and book a ticket until payment section so this type 1 i have considered is very simple user does some search and select some seat so very normal scenario in type second whatever search results are there those are to be filtered so filter search result by some criteria and do some action and land on a payment screen or payment section for example filter the search result by three any three type and confirm search result and clear filter search clear the filter list type third is without any filter sort search result so type 1 is very simple type 2 is filtering type 3 is sorting so without any filter sort the search result by departure time in some order ascending or descending order and book second ticket and lady seat book second ticket and for lady seat so these are the combinations we can discuss for type 3 type 3 is again here so again sorting the search result and by some criteria and land up on the payment screen or we can cancel also payment related option so do some operation and land up on a payment screen and then choose a particular type of payment for example credit card debit card net banking payments related so credit card debit card cash on delivery so different payment options payment related scenarios we can validate under this group of scenario then uh, offers and Uh, the support functionality validation, for example, cancel ticket, print, or uh, customer care contact something. So those pages we can validate here. User profile management, sign up, sign in, edit profile, change password, update profile can be discussed in this group. We can validate in the group. So specific other items, for example. cheap air tickets or some marketing related options for example domestic flights travel guide holiday package bus booking so the, those can be done in specific other item validation consistency of elements across page validation so as discussed the when i navigated through different pages for example these three pages i found that these six elements were consistent across different pages so that we can put it in one group and we can validate as a consistency of elements home page other this is a low priority so other elements on the home page for example about us careers faqs support or for business so other supporting items we can validate in the in this group so uh, overall i have uh, designed almost 80 80 scenarios uh, or plus minus it around 80 scenarios for each type of each website in this category so which should be easy for anybody to uh, start testing for a complete end to end uh, website testing now let's start something with test ng or j unit code 
so this runs with this cucumber dot class this is a additional plugin we need to install and the class will be loaded so how the running how to run it is basically we need to specify cucumber options so features feature file uh, path and what tag it is optional uh, so at red bus so it will actually execute at red bus so entire uh, feature entire scenarios in this feature file will be executed because this tag is marked for this feature so feature is for entire file then the reporting options and the glue so glue means it will actually start executing all the java classes from this file where the it will get the JUnit options so how to run the project so as it is a maven project we can run it in right clicking by right clicking the project and then run as maven and maven test profile maven test or as it is a JUnit code we can just right click and execute as a JUnit JUnit test or a JUnit as JUnit now let's discuss about let's take a simple example of red bus and let's execute this particular scenario so we have something so we have something called steps and now we need to define the steps or uh, that is called step definition so step definition is something which we have to put it in a java file so for red bus this is the step definition and this is these are general step definition so if you see these two lines for example background these are not specific to a particular website so these are general so those i have put in general step definition here so init browser and then quit the scenario and those which are which are specific to redbus for example redbus user validates this and this so th those will go to redbus specific file step definition so it becomes easy to handle general scenarios i mean general steps in general definition file and website specific in their specific file now let's take an example of this scenario so the first scenario so background will be executed so given in it this browser and then uh, so it will initialize the browser and it will open this website so when we say init browser so it will be taken as a variable and then instant instantiate web driver and uh, let's go to its definition so it will instantiate a web driver so based on what type of browser we want for example here we mentioned as firefox browser we can we can have multiple options so that's what i have done so uh, for firefox driver or chrome driver or there are other handlers for internet explorer safari opera and more so in case if i mention a random browser it will just pick up one any one of this and then start executing or uh, if I don't mention anything, if I just say initialize browser, then it will by default it will say it will take Firefox browser. So, as a good coding practice, I have done it in a try catch so that if in case browser initialization fails, so I will I will catch one exception, and this I will repeat three times, three times here, so that uh, it is an added advantage that if by by any issues if first time it fails then we will do it three times so whichever time it executes we can continue otherwise it's anyway fail so that is about init brow init web driver and then now let's look at the step definition so f so uh, this will actually open the uh, red bus screen so red bus website so let's go to its step definition that will be in red bus which are fine That is your Redbus website under test and short name is this so it will actually open the redbus.com redbus.in website here so this utility and other functions we will discuss in detail so Redbus initialize this website specific item so first of all it will initialize so for example abstract page and specific page objects for this particular website and then initialize website specific so for example we can uh, initialize database we can initialize uh, Excel file handler Apache POI <coughs> or properties file handler or whatever relevant items and uh, after that let's execute this scenario so scenario first step is 
user validates home page attribute from this list so this is the attribute list and expected attribute list okay so let's let's go to its definition that will be here it was valid as home home page attributes from variable one with variable two so info user so basically i am calling this method so this this is called the step definition uh, of the step and this is what i am calling internal method so the the top layer is all about cucumber and the step definition so it is very easy because we are putting it in one everything you are putting step definition in one file so as a good coding practice just put the definition in one file and call one method and let that method to decide what has to be done we can use some global variables or some data structure to do that another important uh, thing I, I want to mention is about the naming convention so the naming convention I have done is this feature file is as as it is explained here travel ticket and this tra ticket travel also the package naming convention for example it should start with com dot i made me think underscore web automation package zero and then all packages should start with pkg so whatever website specific items are there those will start with pkg and those which are not so for example user management or this is utilities those are not they do not start with pkg now let's take a look at red bus specific or clear bus, clear tree specific so i have used page object model and page factory uh, type of design so wherein whenever uh, so page object and page fo factory model i would request the viewers to google out or to gather some information about page octree page factory and page object model so basically i can write the entire program in one file but that is not a good coding practice and whenever I want to scale it up it becomes very difficult to manage so this there is a concept called page object model so basically for each page for each page for example this is a page for example this is a page in red bus only so this is a page for cancel refund this is a page for ticket status this is a page for result screen and there is something called home screen <coughs> so for each screen whatever elements are present here that will be taken in separate page so if you see here the, the so it the page objects start with with name page and it is for which website so page red bus and main page and travel and seat selection page and detail payment page or support functionality page or offers page it depends so in our scenarios these are the pages i have encountered so that i have used so this is a page object model and in page factory model what we do is we we simply do not call driver dot find element but we annotate those using this find by annotation at the red find by or at the red find bys or at the red find all and we define a global variable inside the class and we just start using it so naming convention also for those variable does matter so for example easy cancel refund so it is a link text so the variable name would be it is for which website red bus and it is a link and it is on which page so select one result travel seat page and then what is its specific functionality so easy cancel refund so it becomes easy for everybody to understand and now this variable for example this variable I can say find element so this is a list as, as as the name says it is a list and it is result one select travel seat page and then the government bus group so in that I want to select the first element first among this list and then in that also I want to find element by some selector and then get the size so like this the naming convention and the page factory model helps us to write the code easily and the maintenance also easy so another advantage is of page object model is whenever there is a change in this page for example if there is some element change in this page for example instead of one text box there is they have added one more text box so instead of changing one single file 
I mean, instead of changing the entire f uh, code, if we just change the code where, just change the page object where this is handled, then the script maintenance becomes easy. And that is how it is easy. So for example, this element or this element. So if it is changed to from this class, if it is changed to one, two, three, for example. So it is very easy not to go and change some other page objects. That is the advantage in page object model. Now let's take a look at how the web driver is initialized. So in the top layer uh, architecture, the thing, the main thing is the first layer is the cucumber and then the step definition here. Okay. So let's now uh, perform, for example, this test red bus. So I have the the tag is at the red red bus, so all the scenarios in this feature file will get executed. class and step definition okay. so now it will open go step by step so these are my own prints uh, my own sys out so it will uh, the print is current step is initializing browser for type Firefox and it will open the URL red bus so by the time let's take an example of let's take a look at abstract page so abstract page is something which uh, so for every uh, page object this is the reference so if you see for example main page it is extending the page zero object so each page object basically needs a web driver and that will be in, in instantiated when we create a when we just extend and when we call a super uh, class web driver now if you see the example started so it is it has opened a uh, it will open a, a Mozilla driver. Exception occurred while invoking browser. So th this is what we discussed. Like it will do it three times the web browser initialization, and uh, if out of three, if any time it is executed, then it will proceed. So second time it has opened the browser, it was able to open it successfully. And because of there is a compatibility issue uh, with my browser version, so it will open the Mozilla uh, URL first and then it will quickly navigate to Redbus. Okay, it has gone to Redbus. And the first scenario is the home page element, so it will check for the URL, I think, URL or title. And so, in one big scenario, one scenario outline, the first test case is to validate the URL. So, URL validation will be done and it will close the URL, close the browser.
okay pass so let me stop the test here and let us analyze the result so these are my own prints so this is for the the exception has occurred first time so it has done it for second time browser initialization initializing browser for this particular website initializing website specific items for example uh, connecting to db or apache poi or uh, properties file and then navigating to this url and comparing actual and ex expected attributes for home page url so that has passed and pass and overall pass so this is this is all this is how uh, the we can verify by console logs that particular scenario is failed or pass of course i will show the um, html reporting but for now we can consider this as a good start so we discussed about lot of things so we discussed about the top layer we discussed about the step definition we discussed about how web driver is initialized and how is the basic structure what are the page objects and page factory to run the entire scenario i would request the user to download the code from github and uh, start using it thanks for watching